Well, back by popular demand, we've got Lauren doing a review of her Honda CRV. Woo! I have my license now, guys. Lauren got her license when you last saw her. She was four days away. Yeah. Four days oh. away. Now she's three days past. Correct. And here she is with her new used Honda CRV. 2004. 2004. CRV. All right, so, Lauren, take us around. This car is used. Um, you can see I really need some new tires. Tread is kind of. Washing away. In our last but, review, we saw we had some really good tread. Yeah. Not on, not in this case. Yeah. After summer. You also see right here is a Mountain View sticker, which they really should put better directions on it because it's actually supposed to go on the inside of your car, but they didn't tell me and they won't give me a new one, so they're done. So, next you see this license plate covering the number, <laughs> but it's really fancy. It's Crater Lake. That's super cool. Uh, I think they already saw the number, but... Well, you know. I tried to hide it. We tried. Um, let's go around back. Ooh. <laughs> Side opening door on this bad oh, boy. Yeah. Now, I can't help but notice, it seems that the door's only opening part way. Yeah, I don't know what that's about. Yeah. If there are any uh, Honda CRV owners that have any advice on how to get this to open the rest of the way, tell us. Lauren would appreciate knowing. Yeah. For the time being, none of her objects are larger than this opening, so no. things should be all right. So, this is the spacious back chunk of the car where I have a hammock, some stuff for cheer. You can see. For what? Cheer. Good. That's yep. just, she's kidding. That's just a joke. It's not a kid, but there's a lot of room. So is this considered a six-seater? No. <laughs> I'm just chilling. Yeah. You can pull this forward, which I will show you sometime, but not now. <laughs> <laughs> and what is, what happens when you pull the cord? It goes forward. So then there's even more room, which it's great for camping, because then you can sleep in the back. Another great feature of this car is... Oh, license plate. They just saw it again. Whoops. We'll edit that out. <laughs> it has a hitch. So you can... Ooh. This doesn't have a lot of horsepower, but you could probably pull a small boat, maybe, if you wanted to. Are you going to get a boat? Or yes. do you, you are going to get one. Nice. Yes. I'm taking one out camping this year to a nice lake called Coltus. So this is the back seat. It's pretty schmancy. Um, you can see it has leather on the outside, and then cloth. cloth on the other portions. It has nice little seat holders, and you can see it fits three people come through the believe. And it's pretty spacious. It has cup holders back here. Um, all windows work. All the locks work, which is really important in CRVs because as reliable as they may be, the interior things don't always work the best. Mm, so okay. then, should we go up to the front yet or no? Oh, wherever you want. Should we save that for the driving? <laughs> no, let's show them it now. Now? Yeah, because when we're driving, you can't you know, be too distracted by features okay. on the front of the vehicle. So, here's the front seat. If you'd like to take a look. Here's the oh, front seat. Here. There. Oh no, okay, bye. Um, so what are we, like what we are we looking at? Inside. What are we looking at here? I feel in like the we front. Show the inside while I'm driving. Oh, okay. To save time. So we're gonna and wait. Then we can edit this out. <laughs> <laughs> edit this out. All right, we'll edit, edit this, this out. out. <laughs> I edit this out. <laughs> okay. What is going on in there? <laughs> oh. A little bit of a reflection. <laughs> Something going on in that window, though. All right. <clears throat> we'll edit that out, too. Yeah. We'll do the inside of the front while I turn it off. So you can see. Are we going to start? Yeah. Let's start. This is a really smooth ride. Um, hi. <laughs> <laughs> That's it? <laughs> How long have you owned this car for? <laughs> a total of 
four days. Because hmm. yeah. in your last review of the Tacoma, I mean, your experience was very limited and you had a lot to say. And here you're already blanking. Um, I really, I love this car so much. It is my baby and oh my goodness. It does lag a little bit when I try and speed up. Okay. All the windows work, all the interior designs work. Except for Ooh, one bummer. Check it out. Yeah, I know, there's sunroof, Got pretty sunroof. fancy. It doesn't have air conditioning, which you see that a lot in CRVs, which is a real bummer. And some other weird things, which I'll show you in a little bit, but the parking brake is right here, and you push down and you pull down, which is a little different than anything that I've seen before. And on the gear shifter is right here instead of down there, which that's kind of strange. Mm -hmm. I don't think I'm too big of a fan of that. Um, the speakers are pretty good. That's pretty exciting. Would you like to see how well they work, Mike? No. Are you, you sure? Yeah, we're not allowed to do that. Why not? Copyright. Uh, right. Yeah. That'd be really cool, though. Mm. Can't you do it if it's 30 seconds or less? Mm, I don't know. Well, you can blast it really, really loud. Megan did not turn on her blinker. Are you sure? 100%. <laughs> Who's Megan? Megan is Mike. The cameraman, his wife. Oh. Yeah. Can see her up and ahead. And also the sister-in-law of the Stradman. Ooh, sister-in-law of the Stradman. Oh yeah. So we have a special guest with us today. His name is Skeeter. Skeeter, do you know who the Stradman is? Hey, Skeeter. I don't. Hello. What? You haven't heard of the Stradman? I have not. He's an incredibly famous YouTuber oh. that YouTube's on cars. So I got a true story real quick about yeah. that. So we were having dinner at my parents' house last night with the stride man, my brother. Yeah. And all of a sudden we saw these kids walking across the front of our lawn, like maybe like two or three kids. And they spotted the camel, purple camel Lamborghini. Oh. Yeah. Do you know I, who I that saw, is? I saw the Lamborghini. It's no. like a purple, black, and like. You saw it in town? Yeah, I saw it on Instagram. Ah, so, okay. Yeah. So he Instagram. was here this weekend. Apparently it's on Instagram. Famous? Yeah, he's that famous. So we're sitting at our table and all these kids start walking across the lawn and they're just like flipping out because there's a camo purple oil. <laughs> Mike, I don't. All right. Uh. We just had a very sudden breaking there. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, so these kids start walking across the lawn and they're all like looking at the Lambo and you know, we're like, oh great, all these kids. Well, then they like kept running back and forth and eventually they came and rang the doorbell. <laughs> And they're like, does the Stradman live here? Or, you know, because they recognize the car. That's so cool. And so then probably uh, Skeeter. my parents answered it. So then the Stradman had to go to the door and meet the kids. And uh, while we were out there, probably like 15 kids showed up. Oh they just like goodness. kept coming across our lawn. And um, yeah, it was pretty funny. That's crazy. Yeah. Okay. Oh, he has a fluffy thing, guys. Oh my he has oh a oh oh some subscribers here in the neighborhood and we have a very special individual dude how's it going buddy oh, I got it. Yeah. So this is your big moment yeah what do you want to say to the camera hey so anyway back to the crv review um it has you it has a six disc cd changer that's really cool. It's a lot of discs. Yeah. Yeah. What's um, your favorite disc? I don't own any discs. <laughs> I don't have any c CDs. Oh. I'm an aux cord kind of. Oh, the aux cord type. Yeah. All right. What's your favorite song to like rock out to in this car? We can't play it, but we can talk about it. Um. I'm a big fan of. You know that one song? Oh, Taylor Swift? Yeah. Yeah. Um, which one? Tim McGraw? Yeah. Yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I like that one. Okay. Um, another thing that kind of bothers me is I have this little crack in my windshield yeah. from a rock hitting it. It kind of looks like a raindrop. You can get that in used cars from time to time. Yeah. 
Um, I don't know what else to say. I mean, there is one thing that does bother me is when you do go really fast in this car, the windshield's on the back, the little windshield wiper, it bumps against the car. Hmm. So sometimes it sounds like you have a flat tire. Yeah. And it's kind of sketchy. Did you say but, 60? Huh? When you go 60 miles an hour? When you go, yeah. Where, where have you gone 60 miles an hour? I feel like there are no locations within the city limits. <laughs> um, I'm just a really speedy driver. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're not. Lauren never goes over 35 miles an hour. 35, 35. See? You too. So yeah, that was a joke, you guys. Don't worry. <laughs> Lauren wouldn't go 60. So no, at 30 miles an hour, it'll sometimes rattle against the windshield. No, it has to be going really, really fast. I can't give them the wrong <laughs> All right, I tried to help you. Hopefully her parents don't see the review, find out that she was going 60 on. Oh, they don't even know how to get on YouTube. I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> hey guys, we're back again. And I forgot where we left off. Although, um, in this car, it has really good lights. In a lot of old used cars, you can see that their lights are kind of faded or don't work very well. So you're talking about the headlights? Yes, headlights okay. and blinkers, which you can't really see right now because it's daytime. It's uh, got good blinkers? Yes. Okay. All of them. So work. other people can see your blinker lights yeah. really well. Okay. Um, although, when you are turning, one thing that is a little iffy, not all the time, but sometimes I just got new brakes. And sometimes my car squeaks when I hold on to the brakes. So that's not, I'm not a big fan, but this car isn't that high tech. It is pretty old. It's only 2004. So like the 2016 Tacoma, the seat is the same and you have to change it manually. Automatic just, seat, or manual seat. Yeah, it doesn't just move up for you, which is a bummer. Um, it has quite a few compartments. You can see one where I have gum and stash some trash, and two Ooh. where I have some Jolly Ranchers. The Jolly Ranchers They're door. complimentary. What's this bad boy for? Um, that is another cup holder. Ooh. So you got three up front. Mm -hmm. You got two in the back. Is that right? Yep. Two in the back, all right. Um. We got some little slots right here for some things. Yeah. Unfortunately. Glove box. Yes. Unfortunately, I don't have, is it a second glove box or what is it? That one that goes right here. Oh, console. center console is what they call that. This one just flips Ooh, down. but it flips down. Yeah. So if you've got like a two by four. Yeah. You could stick that right through the middle of the vehicle. If Actually, you fold that seat purse, down, my right? My purse fits perfectly in there. Down there? Yes. You have a big purse. I know. What do you keep in your purse? All my school books because I'm a good student. Wait, you keep school books in your purse? Yes. Yeah. I have a big purse. <laughs> Apparently. <laughs> yeah. So this car gets some really good gas mileage. Um, probably 28 miles per gallon, would you say? Yeah, sure. Yeah. Um, you can see right here it says trip A, 216.5. Okay, and that's telling us what? That's how many miles I'm gonna get. You're going to get? Um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's not I how many I'll you've already gone? No, okay. no. Um, I should show you that. Wait, why, why did the number go up? Yeah, in take, in take okay. one, I believe in take one, it was at 214. But sometimes that happens. You've been driving really efficient for the last couple of miles, so maybe that's bumped us up from the maybe. 214 to 216. Maybe, maybe that's how many I've driven with this one take of gas. Okay. That might make, make some sense. That would probably make, that'd make more sense. So quite a bit. to make that relevant, let's see how much gas she's got left in the tank. That's a whole lot. Um, yeah, a that's a whole lot. That would that would suggest if you, if you used a quarter tank that you're going to go 800 miles on one tank. That, that's that's question. That's questionable, but <laughs> we'll pretend that maybe that's accurate. Is that wrong? Well, that'd be a lot of miles on one tank. But I told you, get gas mileage. But it gets good gas mileage. We know that. We don't know what the mileage is. 
We have no evidence to prove it, but we have a good hunch. Yeah. yeah. How do you switch it to how many miles is on the car? That's trippy. Ooh, 159, 143. I don't know what to say to that, but <laughs> that's pretty good. Yeah, not bad. 2004? How many miles do you reckon you'll get out of this vehicle? I will. Well, um, I mean, how, how many more miles well, does it have left on it? It's gone 159, 143. My family strongly believes in no more than 2,000. 200,000? Although, um, I have researched CRVs quite a bit, and a lot of them actually can get, with keeping them up and everything, they can get up to 3,000. 300,000. 300,000. Yes. <laughs> That's quite a bit. Mm -hmm. So, um, do you want me just to park right behind sure. your wife? So now, once we get out of this car, my CRV. See, you can hear the brakes squeaking, and here is the emergency brake. Kind of strange. I will show you underneath the hood. Let's pop the hood. If you guys watched my last review of Mike's 2016 Tacoma, I mentioned that there were no dead animals in the hood of the car. And here you can see there's actually poop on top of my engine, where some rock shots have gotten into my car. So, that's not good. Um, that is not proper vehicle maintenance. No. <laughs> Although, the battery is right here. Very accessible. That's always a plus. All right, and you got an interstate battery? Is that the style that you recommend? No, but I mean, <laughs> it's you can go with it. Um, this engine seems pretty complex. There's a 5W20. Mm. 5W20 stands for the type of oil that you would put in this specific engine. That's the grade. Yeah. <laughs> There's or 2%, because the you want to put 2% milk in it, you know? 2%? What the? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> All right. That's an interesting feature, feature to note. Oh, dang. Um, I think my car's been chewed on a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so it's been chewed on and there's poop. That tells us that something's going on with the CRV. So guys, um... I've actually taken hostage a couple animals that are <laughs> keeping them in my car. <laughs> Gonna roast them for dinner tonight. Mm. Um, can I see the camera? Can you even see it? Right there you can see the wheel. The wheel right there. Oh, you can see wow. straight through. That's weird. That's a little sketchy. I mean, rocks coming up, getting in your engine and everything. That must be the accessible path for the animal to get out of the vehicle once you keep it hostage. Yeah. I didn't plan on this, guys. <laughs> I don't know what to it's tell you. It's a good thing to note. If you're ever going to be doing a car review, check under the hood, <laughs> clean it out before you start the camera. In this case, yeah. it's too late. Um, I think that's all. That's it. Okay, so any anything you want to summarize? I think last time on our last review, we noted our like top three things we like and maybe three things we don't like about the car. Um, do you have any things that you'd like to note? That's one thing you don't like, right? <laughs> <No>. <laughs> that doesn't come out very easily. We'll close that after the camera's done yeah. rolling. Okay, so that's one thing we don't like. What are two other things? I don't like the seats. Not a fan. Because they aren't automatic. Yes. Okay. And then I don't like the gear shifter. The gear shifter, because it's weird. Yeah. Also, I don't have AC. Oh, that's four things. you see a lot, of, a lot in old CRVs. Okay, so we're up to four things we don't like. Yep. What do we like? It has a sunroof, which that's pretty cool. Nice. It's really cool that it works because this is an old model and all windows and all locks work in this car. They're all power. Which, so is that one thing or two things or three things? I'd say three things. Okay, that's three things we like. I really like how spacious the car is. Lots of room for her friends. Yes. But I mean, I won't be driving for another six months. Six months. Life. You gotta wait. Except for Skeeter. Except for, Skeeter's well, Skeeter was in the car with an adult, so. Yeah. I really like the back, the trunk, and the hitch. Because you can get so much in here. Yeah. With it opening so big. Oh, guys. Hitch is good. That's my CRV. There you See go. See you next time.